happy. The challenge is there's a lot of good stuff. So that I don't consider as a negative. I, I think that's amazing that we are so lucky to have a disease where we have so many different options where choosing sometimes can be, uh, you know, it's difficult, but having those choices, I think is incredible. Um, I think the problem is we still have uh, disease subsets, which don't really benefit from everything we have, despite us having all of these wonderful options. We have the high risk disease patients who are doing poorly, and this is sort of an unmet medical need in multiple myeloma, which we've identified. And we are bringing some of these uh, drugs, which I've mentioned today, earlier on, earlier on in the course of their uh, disease. Uh, the other thing is, uh, you know, uh, the other challenge again, which I would look at more uh, of as an opportunity is, you know, we have patients who have extramedullary disease, very difficult to treat, but some of the new drugs that we have can actually treat those folks. Uh, part of the problem is clinical trials does not allow us to include those patients because we don't have a way of measuring disease burden. So as soon as we get these drugs approved, if we can change the natural history of high-risk disease, people with extramedullary uh, disease, I think it's gonna be a game changer.